Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we're going to be actually working with GitLab pages. Um, we're actually going to be deploying a static HTML page to GitLab pages so that you can essentially build, host, and then get get a web page in GitLab um, to kind of show you off your website. GitHub also does a very similar thing that you can do, and we might do a separate video on that. But since we have a self-hosted GitLab, I wanted to show you what the steps would kind of be to get it working and just have something to play around with. So. This video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content, want to sponsor me, or send me some free swagger hardware, my email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started, guys. Okay, so there's going to be a few things that we'll need to do. <clears throat> the first thing we'll need to do is actually update our DNS. Um, <clears throat> the thing about GitLab pages is it actually hosts us on a different domain itself, which you can specify. But essentially, how it does it is it will be the project name dot whatever domain you want it, right? So that raises a little bit of questions with DNS because the project name can be anything, and then you have to essentially wildcard it. But luckily, DNS is very smart, and you can do that. So what we'll do here is update this, and then where is GitLab? GitLab's right here. And what we'll do is we'll do star, so you can wildcard it, dot pages.gitlab. Um, so essentially, anything you put in, so like say for example, web.pages.gitlab.dragon.local will resolve um, and point to the same server as GitLab. This, this just this works because essentially on GitLab side in the configuration, it'll essentially see what the domain is and then redirect depending on the domain on the server to the correct thing. So we'll get that set up. So we have anything pages.gitlab. We will commit this, GitLab pages, commit this. Okay, so now that we've committed that, that should be all set in GitLab. Um, the next thing we'll need to do is actually create um, a few sets because we also want to make it so that it's on HTTP instead of HTTPS. Um, so let's log in to our CA server. And we will make dir um, GitLab pages. And you can do the exact same thing too here. You can we're gonna and we're gonna do a wildcard set. So set the CA certificate, and then we want wildcard pages dot um, GitLab dot dragon dot local, and then you specify the cert, and we'll just name it pages dot GitLab dot dragon dot local dot cert and the key dragon dot local dot key. It'll prompt for the password. So let's log into our vault one here real quick. Uh, get reload. Here we go. Get that. Paste that. Okay. So and then we'll copy this to our GitLab server. Those two keys to our GitLab server. Oh, wrong password. Okay. So now we can log into our GitLab server. There will be a few things that we'll need to do here. And the first thing that we'll want to actually do is actually set um, <clears throat> set up the client for step CA. So essentially anything from our local domain is actually um, valid so that it actually, because it has the restart. So we're essentially importing the reset certificate into GitLab. So going through uh, the documentation back in a while back, we will download the step client um, and then install it. The RPM and then we need to also actually get the fingerprint from the step CA server so actually we'll log back up go to the step CA server let's grab that fingerprint all right we got that fingerprint so that's the fingerprint there and then we will need to run um, this command but we will need to actually format it correctly so essentially it grabs it from the cert, but we need a different fingerprint. Um, that was a different fingerprint that I was testing with. So we'll just copy and paste that. Okay, so what we have here is new fingerprint. 
So now I installed the new root certificate from our CA server, which is good. Um, and then now we need to edit the GitLab CI file, uh, which is an Etsy Git or GitLab uh, RB file. GitLab.rb. Um, and then we'll search for pages external. So here, the external URL will set as HTTPS and pages dot gitlab dot dragon dot local. We'll make sure it's enabled for true. Uncomment. And then you can see down here where it has the, the cert and the key. What we'll do here is actually do it like this, where we have pages dot uh, GitLab dot dragon dot local dot set, and then pages dot GitLab dot dragon dot local dot key will be our key file. Make sure you uncomment it in the front. There we go, and save that file. So what we did was set what the base URL will be. So pages dot GitLab dot dragon dot local set. Uh, enable GitLab, so it's not true, and put in the cert and the key. So we'll save that. So what we'll need to actually do now is, because the key and cert isn't in that directory yet, we'll move pages, and we'll wildcard it so the cert and the key, so we can do it all in one command. So GitLab SSL. So now if we go to uh, uh, GitLab SSL, we should be able to see both the, the cert and the key for Normal GitLab and then the certain key for pages, but this is a wildcard certain key. Okay, so now that we have that, we will do a GitLab C CTL reconfigure. So this will reconfigure GitLab with the new parameters. So it will enable pages, it will um, and enable pages with SSL. Um, the hope here is that it works <laughs> and it doesn't break anything and I didn't mess up. Um, but once that is enabled, then we'll create a new project and we'll just call it like web, for example. Um, it is still doing, it hasn't reloaded yet. So that's that's fine. Um, I'll wait for it to actually finish reloading because the page might actually go down because we might have to restart some of the stuff. <clears throat> Honestly, I should actually just do a restart afterwards so that it actually takes um, <clears throat> into effect the step CA um, importing the certificate. So actually I'll do a restart after this also. Um, oh, it's still working. Well, okay, we can create the project while, while that reconfigures, I guess. So we'll name it <coughs> web. Um, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, you can leave it as private, you can leave it as internal, up to you. Um, it doesn't make a difference here, but we can we'll just do internal. So, and then we'll create project. Hopefully it's not restarting while that's happening. Okay, it's not. Oof. This is what happens when you try to multitask. It's gonna like break on me for no good reason, you know? <laughs> and so right here under settings, I believe it should show up here where it should have a new setting called pages um, when it's done. So we'll give it a few more seconds here. Ooh, maybe we'll do a Terraform thing. That might be kind of fun actually. Yeah, so that's still running. Jeez, this takes a long time. Um, there we go. Reconfigured. Yeah. Now it's actually restarting. But if you were to look, you can type in GitLab pages and there's actually a lot of things, uh, a lot of documentation around GitLab pages. What we're going to actually just do is just do a static, uh, HTML site that will just have a header that says like hello world, nothing nothing too fancy. Um, GitLab also does this on their own, um, but if you're doing a self-hosted instance, you will need to uh, um, you know configure it the way that you want it. Um, so we're just doing like here, this is how we're doing it essentially. Um, actually, we, we did pages.gitlab. Um, so, but we need the wildcard DNS. There's a lot more other things. This is what the DNS stuff that we were talking about, wildcard in the front of that. Um, and then S external UL stuff. Okay, this should hopefully come be back now. Okay, so this is back now. And if we would go here, we go to settings, 
now we have pages in here that we didn't see before. So we'll click on that. And there's a one, step one through whatever. Um, it's, it's up to you, you can decide. I mean, you, you have to do it, you have to do it. Um, so the app is built on output files in the folder named public. So actually there is some documentation, I don't know off the top of my head where it is, but I had it somewhere that essentially gave you an example of what it should look like, um, but I have it on a different page. So, oh, this is, that's actually required. Okay, so we just use our GitLab image. So container CentOS. Um, no, it wasn't deploy. Deploy container repository. We'll grab the latest. So paste that. We don't have any installation steps. Don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about build steps. And yes, we will commit that to main. Okay, so now that will essentially run. It will fail because there are no jobs, which is expected. I don't know why they do it like that, but that it, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it is what I'm trying to tell you. So what we'll do is actually go to the repository. Now we will web IDE this. Um, but it'll create the placeholder GitLab CI. That's what's important. Um, so what we'll need to do is essentially copy paste this. So we'll just have the deploy stage. And this is what, what I found in some GitLab documentation essentially is you make a dot pub directory, copy all that into dot pub, move dot pub to be public, create the public artifact and it'll deploy it. Honestly, I kind of feel like it could just be one step as you make the public directory and then you just do a move. Oh, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, so I don't, you, I mean, you could move star. It would move directories too into public. You, this is like redundant, but whatever. We're going with the documentation. Um, and then we'll create an index.html file. And this is just a very simple hello world type, you know, HTML. You got the headers, you got the body, we got a header. Um, you are awesome. Yeah, we'll change it up. So we got the index, the HTML. You can obviously put whatever you want in here. We got the GitLab CI, so we'll commit this. So hello with a W apparently. Yep, commit it to the main branch. Um, and we should now see it run in the pipeline over here. So now you see the pipeline is running for pages. You see the job deployed and then the, the pages also deployed over here. So if we go back to settings and pages, we should now be able to click this link and you can see that index.html, hello world, you are also um, deployed. You can also obviously up, update it and you know, add more stuff or whatnot. You are awesome too. Um, and it will, once it runs, it will redeploy and update. Second so we can see here that we committed. It's running again, successfully passed, made a new artifact, deploy stages, we should be able to reload this pitch. Well, <laughs> it's cache, so it's a, it's like super cached. Caching is fun. Um, public. Just took a few seconds actually to uh, deploy and, and uncache. So, and there you go. So essentially it's it's almost that it. you got a few seconds of caching there, um, but you can now essentially create your own HTML public website um, and deploy it in GitLab pages. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment or subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.